Visit any college campus and they'll discuss how the college search and application process is a journey. They're right that it is a journey to some degree, but it misses the point. College admissions is less flying a plane with an exact destination and step-by-step -step instructions, and it's more like stepping through a minefield without a minesweeper. I think of the college application process not as a series of best practices, but instead minimizing your errors and missteps. The likelihood of misstepping is high, even if you make baby steps to avoid the mines directly underneath your feet. You know that you need to get into a university on the other side of the minefield, but the path to get there is highly uncertain. My new book, Surviving the College Admissions Madness, is the minesweeper that allows you to lift your head and look further afield to anticipate what's coming. I want to help you open your eyes and see the minds more clearly so that you don't cause harm to yourself and the other tens of thousands of other applicants tiptoeing through the college admissions equivalent to the Korean demilitarized zone. Avoiding metaphorical landmines is often how I feel about traveling the world, which is what I've been doing continuously since 2014. I started my first business tech submissions from my friend's apartment in Guatemala City, and I provided my services while rarely stepping foot in the United States. For over four years, I didn't remain in a single location for more than a month, usually moving every few days and living out of a backpack. I've done my work and written my books from airplanes, bus stops, humid hostels, and even broken down by the side of rural roads. I had to buy a new computer every two years because constant jostling, dust, and humidity decays their components quickly. One of my computers died the day before I flew from Dallas to Barbados to begin 2017, which forced me to make a late night run to Best Buy and buy a new one. Traveling is continually humbling because it forces me to accept that I don't know what I don't know. Over time, I've acquired an extensive catalog of possible dangers to anticipate. But nevertheless, I'm still frequently caught off guard. One time last year, a freak electrocution accident at a guest house in the South Pacific Island nation of Tonga nearly severed my second right toe, and it led to a Kafkaesque experiences at Tonga's National Public Hospital. It's challenging for me to plan a month ahead when I rarely know where life will take me next week or even later that day. I accept the reality that life never proceeds neatly from A to B to C, no matter how much I plan and anticipate. Providing a glimpse into my unconventional lifestyle will help frame my admissions perspectives. Thousands of travelers have gone before me, just like hundreds of thousands of college applicants have gone before you. We're each the heroes of our own stories who need to learn tough lessons firsthand in order to learn and grow. If you can learn from others' mistakes or receive the wisdom of experienced mentors, you might save yourself a lot of pain. I wish you the best as you tiptoe through the college admissions minefield. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find my email in the information section of this video, so feel free to reach out if you're interested in working together.